Iceland is Nordic Island as defined as a dramatic landscape of volcanoes, geysers, hot springs, and lava fields. But anyways, here is five facts about Iceland. Well, back, welcome back, guys. My name is Sebastian Schubert. I'll be doing five facts about Iceland. Um, Rez is going to take a break, um, so I'll be taking charge, and let's get to the facts. Fact number one. Iceland does not have any force. Iceland was formed by some pretty harsh phenomena. Much of the country has carved off slowing moving glaciers, chewing up land as going in deep valleys into it, but to popular belief, Trees do grow in Iceland, however, when the Vikings arrived, they cut down every single tree there was in the whole island, but since that was thousands of years ago, reforestation is being tempted to this day. Fact number two, Iceland is eco-friendly. Since the whole country is essentially alive with volcano activity, the nation harnesses hydro and geothermal energy to power more than 80% of the country, and very few fossil fuels are burned there. And most homes are heated with using geminal water that's pumped in, up for the, both cities and towns. And here's an extra fact. There's also some hydrogen buses driving around the capital, which is Reykjavik. Fact number three. Iceland has a preserved language. Icelandic is very close to Danish and Norwegian, and it remains totally unique. Words with far too many consonants, a balance of syllables seem to adjust blur together. Unlike other languages that have changed dramatically over the centuries, Icelandic remains very close to its original roots. A Bible from the early 1500s, which is the first printed Bible in Iceland, can be still easily be read by Icelanders today. Fact number four. More than 50% of Icelanders believes in elves and trolls. There are many amusing stories and legends about these creatures, and Icelanders go so far as to postpone construction projects if it's believed that something is going to be built where elves uh, currently lives. And even the large fallen rocks and fields are said to be frozen trolls. Even the smell of sulfur, which is the smell of Iceland, is the smell of trolls' dirty, dirty bath water. Fact number five origins of Iceland and once again another story so here we go <coughs> Iceland was first settled out of Norway at the time when Ivar Ragnarsson Shaggy Breek killed the English king Edmund the Holly this was seventy winters into the 900th year after the birth of Christ as described in this saga there was a Norseman called Ingolfor who can truly be said to have the first travel to Iceland when Harfather and the fair haired was winters old and second time a few winters later. He settled in south of Reykjavik. There are reports of seafarers who came to the island before Ingolfor's voyage and who stayed there over the winter. One of these was Floki Vigernarsson, who was a Norwegian Viking who used to raven the sailing guide account of which he required his nickname. He had intended to se se settle in Iceland, but reformed to Norway after a difficult winter. It was Haratha Flocki who gave, the I gave Iceland its name. However, it is the Irish monks who are thought to have been the first men to settle the country in the 8th and 9th centuries, although there are few remains of remnants of their settlements. Most indications are that the majority of settlers who came from Norway but there is also talk of mixing of Norse and Celtic blood when the Norsemen went on Viking raids. Place names throughout the country bear witness to the Norse origins of Icelandic people, and some places are named after the Norse's gods, such as Porsmord and Porsche, while other places name point to the nation's Celtic origin. Dalsazar and Ithrell. This is the guards I've been reading, but anyways, let's get to the bonus fact. And here's the bonus fact. Iceland does not have McDonald's, and as such as it sounds, Iceland is the only country to not include McDonald's, which also includes Bolivia and Ghana and other countries <laughs> that doesn't have McDonald's. Thanks for watching for Facts by Reza. Leave a like and subscribe button, and we'll actually take a break. So, we'll see you in two weeks.